this isn't first paint home, I don't know what is. <laughs> Did you not think it was odd that you right. haven't seen one defender on this entire <laughs> page? I mean, you can enjoy your Europa League. Whoa! Anyway. What's happening everyone and welcome back to Tear Talk, brought to you by Sports Direct. Today we are going to be discussing the best attacks of this World Cup. The way that we are going to be doing this is we are going to be ranking the best attacks at the tournament from World Cup winners right the way through to first plane home. Joining me to help me go through it is the one and only Thogden and the brains of the operation we've got, Mr Jack Collins. <laughs> We're going to dive straight into the deep end. We have Portugal. This is one of the most glorious attacks at the World Cup. <laughs> I'm convinced that that is true. I don't think there'll be any pushback. Jack, tell me I'm right. On paper, you're right. In practice, you're wrong. It's one of those where it just doesn't seem to be better than the sum of the parts. Look, we're talking about some of the world's best players here, right? But it just doesn't work for Portugal at the moment. It hasn't been firing. And part of it is to do with the fact that they're stuck Don't say around, it. Don't say it. They're Don't stuck say around it. Cristiano Ronaldo, the one of the world's greatest ever players. But know? the the best player in this attack in terms of form right now is Rafael Leal. Right, he is absolutely sensational, a blistering footballer. I and it's just agree. not getting the best out of it. You're looking at Bernardo yeah. Silva on one side, you're looking at Rafa Liao on the other, and actually, I think the whole thing is just not clicking. Now, that's to say that How he's not the best player. How much game time has Rafael Liao had for Portugal? Because I was at all the matches for the qualification, not which, enough. by the way, is also the first doubt because they couldn't make it through the group. They had to go to qualifications and beat Serbia and then North Macedonia. They beat Turkey and then North Macedonia, which they did. But there was no Rafael Leal. I don't think he was even in the squad, which makes me wonder the manager holds grudges and part of the problem is Ronaldo gets too much game time. They have so oh, much young you talent, well. free-flowing. Messi's better than Ronaldo and he <laughs> is not ever going to win a World Cup. I'm sorry, Ronaldo is never winning a World Cup. Wait, I don't want Ronaldo to win a World Cup, but I just find it so difficult. My brain isn't able to process a situation where you tell me that one of the most ruthless strikers who have ever walked yeah, the face agreed. of the earth isn't good enough or doesn't contribute to a team. Bernardo Silva, I think, is like absolutely majestic, like a, yeah, yeah. a phenomenal footballer. Cristiano Ronaldo, it's, it, there, it's there not is necessarily his fault. That's my point. What, what, no. Fernando Santos is a very, very Facts. negative manager yeah. who is stuck with his old guard and refusing to let a new generation who are exceptional blood through. Spot it's on. not to do with Ronaldo or his ability. It's the fact that the way that this team builds up doesn't work. And, and that's the key at the moment. It's, it's, not Spanish, it's an Iberian bias. Yeah, got, yeah. Then. Give in. Just give in. World Cup winners, this is going in. No. The brain box no, is no, not right. No, this is going You in, understand that no the, the, the Portuguese gaffer would be sacked right now if they'd not qualified for the World Cup. Lads, come on. Gone, this is so early you, in the video for this. Look the at group. these players. Look at how good these players are. This is a top tier. It's serious contenders. It's, it's not serious, it's serious contenders. contenders. It is, Rory. What do you think? Through the oh, groups. Oh, through the groups. Me up. No, stick him in through the groups. Nah, it's there. Portugal are nowhere near the contenders. No, 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 no. I'm coming in. Okay. No. That it should be ridiculous. one up. It should be one up. There okay. are so Look, many we can great move it nations. We can move it afterwards. Let's go. There are so many oh. great nations. Oh. <laughs> okay, now, now we're, we're, this is easy. Do we even need to explore this? I don't think hugely. This is, this is one of the most gifted, mercurial sets of forwards that you could possibly dream of. Yeah. I, I'm going to have the honour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probable winners, genuine yeah. winners. I think favourites going into it. Playing in a country where they're used to the temperament pretty, also, pretty this, high. Also, this is one of those things where... Brazil have every single asset available to change things up, to vary it. They, they're just yeah. top tier. Neymar stop. seems positive at PSG yeah. right now, yeah. which is unusual. Yeah, this is the year for Brazil. Pass the Dutchies, what do you reckon? Always bottle it. Great team, <laughs> always bottle it. When have the Dutch not bottled it? Sorry. 88. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at finals and the track record, they often do not win things. And sure, but this the is their awful. The Who's problem with this attack is that it has Luke de Jong in it. Mm. <laughs> and that's a problem. It has Valt Weghorst in it. These are not the Let's players you want. Players. But Memphis on fire. Bergwijn, Is, he, is Memphis on fire? He is for the Dutch team, yeah. There's a, there's a very, very... he can't get into his normal team. That's fine. I, I would, I would have him next to Portugal in serious contenders if this were up to me. No, Dumfries is the only what player... What are you talking about? This can't be next to Portugal. It this is why you've done yourself a mischief putting Portugal well, so low. I, I don't that, think... I think I should be a tear up. I'll be honest. I don't think the Dutch are anywhere near serious contenders. They're through the groups. But, but you, that means that you think that the Portugal attack is the same level as this attack. I tell no, you what, because you've in terms the of whole team, in terms of managers, in terms of the way the system is run, yeah, the Dutch and the Portuguese are two 
good teams, but they are not going to win the World Cup. Lads, They're not contenders. We're three teams in, and you've made a mockery of our tier list already. You're three teams in. We've, we've, we're now going to put... No, 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 Rory. Wout Weghorst next to Bernardo Silva on a list. No, no, That's what we're doing. These two chumps. Hang on. I brought them in serious contenders. Rory, you, you put had, that anywhere near serious problem. contenders, and that is a no, no, serious no, 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 no. disgrace to the establishment. Order! As you would say. I, I didn't do that. I didn't either. This is on I you. This no, is this, on is, you. this is spot Pillock. on so far. This is spot on. <laughs> you mate, you're in trouble here. Right, what do we think of the Senegal front line? Yeah, good, good. Very, very good, in fact. Obviously, AFCON winners back in January. Yeah, true. Um, this is a team, they know what they're doing, but, but they're in an, a, a group they could probably get out of with the Netherlands. I think you're probably putting them in a similar kind of category mm. here. Um, but you're talking Sadio Mane. Yeah, good you're talking there was a very, time. very good football. There was a time when Sadio Mane was the best footballer in the world. Like, I'm not suggesting that he would have won the Ballon d'Or or anything, but there was a time a when period. he was playing. Just because James Redmond said it doesn't mean you have to think <laughs> of him. He's the best football player in the world. No, but there was a time when he was playing as the best player in the world. But it's not quite going so well at Bayern. This is lucky to be there. No, this is first plane home. Uh, no. In terms of all countries, we no. have to put them bottom. Unfair. It does, it's not... Jack's no. Home. no. Jack's the brain box. No. It's going here with potential to move down, that depending on how this develops. Take. You started off this conversation by saying they were on the first plane home. Now you want them through the groups. You don't know who you are. You don't know what <laughs> you're I used, doing. I listen to people, Rory. You don't I know do what you're doing. Ah, here we go. Let me guess. You're going to say first plane home, France. <laughs> Come on, let's you're hear just it. You're coming for me. You've got, you got a Ballon d'Or winner, Karen Benzema, leading this line. You did this They're in right in the top tier. I don't think we need to conversate. He did no. Mbappe, yeah. Benzema, Griezmann and Kunku. They have a depth, a dearth of talent up top. They're going up in the top tier. You are completely correct, Jack. Let's keep this rolling. Okay, the Welsh. Mm. Well, I mean, this is definitely first plane home, right? I mean, come on. I think Wales are going to win their group, but <laughs> they'll probably beat England. <laughs> I think this is obviously. I feel like I'm in an in. The problem like, here is I'm the problem here the Kiefer Moore, 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 Moore is on this card, um, and no. Dan James is on this card. For hey, Dan loud. James is a wonderful little footballer. Um, well, it all went wrong for Leeds when they let him go. Yeah, it has all gone. <laughs> and look, look how full of them are flying. The, the fact that Harry Wilson isn't on here is actually a disgrace. To be perfectly honest with you, but I think that it's probably don't do it, Jack. Don't do it. Listen, it's I'm a three-four tier attack. Isn't I feel it? like four. I feel like I have to make an executive decision here. Dan James is on this card. This card is obviously on the first place. He's your neighbour. I don't care. He's, he's your neighbour. He's gonna be. He's gonna watch this video. Yeah, he's gonna. And be he's gonna absolutely come livid. You're both about five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> be a great battle. I'd pay per view that. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. First you you two are far too kind. Next up, we're gonna go for Serbia. Yeah. What do you reckon? Uh, obviously, incredibly hot on this attack, Mitrovic. Oh, look at the bias here. And Sergei Milinkovic Savic was in the form of his life for Lazio. I'm hugely hot on the Serbs as outside dark horses. I'd have them, let's make this clear, I'd have them next to Portugal in series contenders. This is, this is really good. Yeah. Ranking for, like, this but, is far better than the Dutch for. But they need to figure a way of making it work with both of them. They're both target men. They, they will make score it goals. Work. You think they will make, make it work? They will score goals. Yeah. If they do, then they can go. Bear really in mind, far. on one wing you've got Filip Kostic, you've got Sergei Milinkovic Savic playing through the middle, creating. This is a very, very good Serbian side. I think they're in serious contention. I agree with Jack. S S S they're, they're, they're above the Dutch. They shouldn't. They should be. They should be they level should... with the Portuguese yes. in serious contention. Agree. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. They are, number one. This. We're talking about Serbia. They are not serious contenders for the World Cup. I'm sorry. No, they're but better than the Dutch. You're a Fulham fan. I know you love Mitrovic's beautiful story, but we're talking about the biggest competition in the world. And Rory, you're Rory Jennings. Fogden. <laughs> They've got a better forward line than the Dutch. They definitely have. The, the players Bosses, on that... terrible manager. Fogden, look at the Serbia. players on that page. I love Serbia. But look at Fogden. Just have a Rest look at the Belgrade. players on that page. Look at the players on the Dutch page. Look at the players on the Serbia page. The, the Serbs are far better. And when we go through the list, list you'll understand that there's I, so many spaces open I, for serious contenders and World Cup winners. You made a mockery of yourself. We'll change it around if you really think so. So next up we have... Ooh la la. If they get it right, this mm. could be good. If they get it wrong, however, mm. which I think they will, we're mm. talking Belgium. I mean, on paper, looking at the, the prowess and skill set of these players, mm. it's one of the best. But in terms of actually turning that into effective football, I'm not convinced. Yeah, it has the potential to implode, mm. doesn't it? I think this is it. No one's going to sit here and tell you that probably Lukaku, Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard are not wonderful footballers, but it has that capacity to fall through. And, and that's where I'm worried about for Belgium. You're looking at this team. Okay. It's also an ageing side. 
This cardboard is a catfish. I right. 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 In which case, I'm going to sort this out. Okay. If right. we're talking about up we go. the cardboard <laughs> up, itself, up we go. Belgium should be serious contenders. No, Belgium are not serious contenders. They can't be. They, they have too be. much capacity to implode. We're sorting this out. This is how yeah, it's going to look. Jack, do Jack has just done, undone all of your fine work, Thugden. Everything, have, everything that you did, <laughs> I've misunderstood. I've missed, I've missed the brief. I've missed the assignment. <laughs> I've sorted that out. Right? That, that's now, I still believe that Serbia is, a, is a little bit high. That's a, that's a stack. That's, now uh, we're uh, sorted. Yeah. Now we're hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're putting Hazard, De Bruyne, Mertens and Lukaku under what is that Serbia full yeah. line. Yeah, yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Think, when was the last time you saw Eden Hazard have a really good game? About think about Romelu Lukaku. Think, yeah, De Bruyne, absolutely. But we'd, we've got to take it as a whole. Lukaku's, Lukaku's just back coming back goals. from injury. Yeah. Oh, God, God. He had a year off. <laughs> like, they have so much potential to go wrong. I wonder where. There's, there's too much implosion yeah, in fair that Belgium okay. Ooh. Next up, we have South Korea. Yeah, I like this attack. Mm. I mean, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I've only ever seen Hoon Min Son play. No, Hoon Chan. Min Son, there's Wang Hee Chan and Oi Jo Huang as well. Um, obviously, it's not the most well-known attack at the World Cup, let's be honest, but they work really well. They dovetail really nicely as a three. Yeah. Um, they, they can switch positions. It's not just a, a set kind of formation and it allows the freedom that you want for Hoon Min Son as captain of this team and their kind of talisman to play. Now, I still think they're going to struggle to get through the group. And Son being out of form is problematic because... He's a talisman. But he always turns up for World Cups. He also always turns up for World Cups. Do you remember that game country? against Germany and Russia? And Wang Ki Chan. Always. No, if you look at the team around him, he's completely outweighed compared to different mm. clubs. And he seems to find it. In I mean, it, let's just be impressive. totally frank here. This is first playing home, right? I would have him been lucky to be there. I don't think they're going to get through the group. But I think it's a bit unfair to stick him in first playing home. I think South Korea as a nation yeah. are underrated. Yeah. I think they will. They work hard. And I would also agree and put them lucky to be there. But it's up to you, Rory. It's, it's definitely not up to me. For me, this is first plane home. If this isn't first plane home, I don't know what is. No, if you boys think it's lucky to be there, lucky to be there can it always, is. can always move it around. We Look, yeah. We've got a nice balance going on on the board right now. And I think yeah, that's a nice place to be. I think we've been incredibly generous to South Korea there. But, you know, that's, that's fine. Next up. Next up. It's the eventual winners. It I'd is. I'd love to say that. It is the eventual I'd winners. Love to say that, but this time, Rory. more than any other time, Rory it is this coming home. This is happening. And when you look at this attack, yeah. that is about as good as you could possibly dream. Apart from England failed to score a goal out of open play for about three months. Yes, and conceded four at home to Hungary. Yes, there are many reasons <laughs> that you could suggest that things aren't going particularly well. But when you look at these players... The problem is they're not going to be played. This is, this is the issue, right? Who's that? If you, Who won't be if you went, cool, we're going to unleash, you're going to unleash the England attack, right? Mm. We just I'd put forward in the you. World Cup winners list and you agreed on it. So. Yeah, I, I look, but I say if you're, going to un, if you're going to unleash the England attack, then fine, you'd have them in the top tier. But they're not going to be unleashed because this is a course, just for the same reason we talk about Portugal in the tiers below, because they are unable to be unleashed because their manager is negative and cautious. That's how it is. Okay. You can't have them in the top tier. That is a top when they tier attack. Is it there a better number nine in the world than Harry Kane? Raheem Levin Sterling Dolphin. on his day. Well, that's not true. After that match against... I mean, he can enjoy Europa League. Whoa! Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> Phil Foden, Saka, yeah. I'll, I'll do the honours. That is an honour. I think, I think that is correct, though. That think, is correct. I think on paper, you're absolutely right. But it's not played on paper, and this attack is never unleashed. England are notoriously cautious. Oh. They don't go forwards mm. in the I mean, same way under South the current expect. golden boot owner of the World Cup, Harry Kane, is on that board. So, therefore, if we're talking forward lines, he must be at the top. Okay. And I know I understand what you're saying. Will he retain the golden boot? I'm unsure. But let's move on to the next one. Maybe we can switch around as we get onto it. Next up, we have Uruguay. Mm. Luis Suarez. Do you know still I was kicking about. still kicking about? You know I was actually in that is a Sao Paulo when he thought. launched England out of a World Cup, like him in a World Cup. Yeah, I was in Sao Paulo when he managed to score those goals to knock England out. It's a horrible really? feeling. Yeah, so he's still about. That's Obviously, a, Cavani. Uruguay have a lot of gunpowder. Yeah, Cavani yeah, playing do. really well at Valencia as well. He's gone. He's gone there. He's doing a good little job. So how do you fit those back. three in? Darwin Nunes, Just Luis like Suarez. You played Darwin off the left, but also they always do start. Darwin off the two. left. No, but that's, he's good at that. I think Darwin Nunes can definitely play that sort of team. Yeah, but they won't. Channel. They won't. They'll play yeah. a four-four-two because they're Uruguay and that's what they do. Yeah. Um, and they will just rotate. You, you can't be relying on. Suarez and Cavani at their age to be playing 90 minutes all the time. So it will be a rotation of them mm. alongside Darwin. And then behind them, Luis this is the on. element. This is the gunpowder. Freddy like Valverde. I'd actually stick him right mid. 
Yeah, I think they probably will. Mm. Um, I think Valverde on form is one of the best players in the world right now. That's, that's how good we're talking uh, a player he is. He has been carrying Real Madrid. Mm. We saw in the Champions League when he didn't play, he was a problem. Like, this is the, this is the team that I think are in between tiers two and three. I was going to go higher. I was yeah. about to say, I'm looking, looking at these players, looking at the individuals, looking at what they've achieved, looking at what they've done in the past. Am I wrong to say this is top tier? I think it's probably ageing a little bit too much to be top tier, but I think it's definitely in the conversation. So, so serious contender. Yeah, I have them in that kind of bracket. I mean, I think serious contender. The, yeah, the, the, I, I the issue, Serbia, do you know what, good. let me go over here. The only reason why I would make a case for them being above is because when I look at who's here already, I feel like, the, see, I would have Portugal and Uruguay higher. You'd have everyone in the top tier if you could. That's now, now who's talking about being too generous? I just think that the, do you know what? I have so much admiration for so many players that are yeah. not high enough. But okay, I think it's, I mean, we we, have, we, we're getting we somewhere have, here. We have to get somewhere. Yeah. Someone has to be no, in the No, it's true. Tiers. That's very true. Next up, oh, Germany. Mm. Some familiar faces who aren't very good footballers for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Um, Timo Werner smashing it at Leipzig. Yeah. Kai Havertz, he plays really well for country, I believe. Yeah, I mean, he scored Serge a fantastic Nabry. goal against This England, is your problem. Leroy Sunny, will he be there? Serge Nabry isn't on the same form as we've seen previously. Although he played Bayern. excellently against Barcelona in the Champions League. Mm. Um, I think that also we're bearing in mind that Musiala's probably in this attack, you would count him as. Mm. Uh, Thomas Muller. Yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot more players than just on this card. And I think Germany have all the tools available to be top tier. Whether they will actually fire is a very different question, but they have that versatility. You know what we're talking about with Brazil? That mm. versatility and able to change things up. I think it's a disgrace to the establishment that you add Timo Werner to this and not Thomas Muller. <laughs> Thomas Muller will be key to their World Cup run if they go on one. I, I, and he always is. And he has that experience. And I, he has they, that understanding I think they're going the serious contenders. I think that's too generous. Do you? I do. I would have them through the groups. Just look at the... Look at the other options of serious contenders. If you look at Uruguay, if you look at Portugal, that is so much more gifted and so much more ruthless than what we have on this card. Mm. And for that logic, I would say that they are more comparable to the Dutch and Belgium sides. You do the honours. You disagree? You do the honours. I'd have them one higher, but I, I'm, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to accept it. Disgrace. Right. Next up. Iran. Mm. Yeah. Asmoon <laughs> and Taremi. They're both good. What but do you think, Jack? Really like Mehdi Taremi. Been brilliant for Porto for the yeah. last couple of seasons. Um, been the Primera's top scorer for, for a long time. Oh. Sardar Azmoun. The bicycle kick against Chelsea. Yes, that was him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Rory's course. just realised who he is. Sardar Azmoun is... My problem here is that I'm really worried about him. He's obviously made the squad, but his injury history coming into this World Cup is out for six weeks, really close. He's not made that transfer to Leverkusen really stick. It no, hasn't, hasn't kind yeah. of worked for him. But in terms of talent, this is a really, really potent front two. Yeah, I think with Asmoon at Zenit, he was incredible scoring goals in the Russian Premier League for fun. But when he went to the Bundesliga, his injury record, and I was in Leverkusen, I was yeah. speaking to some of their fans, they just don't like him. Mm. So I don't think he's going to be lethal at the moment for country. But Therefore, Taremi is. But Taremi is, and yeah. is absolutely on fire. But will Taremi get the support? That's a question. Therefore, I think there's space next to Wales at first playing home. <sighs> okay. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think that's fair. Next up, we have Poland. Okay. Where do you think Ooh. Poland sit on this tier Interestingly, list? Interestingly, no Zielinski on that cardboard. But you can factor him in if you wish. You can factor him into your Naples. logic. Okay. I think he's going to have a massive World Cup on his recent club form. I really like Zielinski. Obviously, Lewandowski is an absolutely brilliant, lethal striker in really good form. And obviously, leading La Liga's goal-scoring charts going yeah. into this tournament. Milik Arcadius Milik is a funny old fish. He scores a few goals for you, though, this season. Yeah. Um, he, he's not brilliant, but he's fine. And Zielinski is excellent. Piontek's on there, which is a slight concern because he's He won't get any game dreadful. time. Um, he's not a good footballer. But I think that... <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's that true. Zielinski them, should be on this list. Yes, so let's, let's, pretend, let's pretend that Zielinski is in is, this is conversation. On this list. And I, I honestly feel there's a... Oh, I'm not going to put them serious contenders. I'll I think put they're them through, through, the groups. The groups. through the groups. Yeah. Is that fair? I yeah. Through, through, the groups, through the groups makes sense to me. Right, the penultimate one. Let's go. Oh, your boys, uh, Viva, Viva España. España. 
Right. Jinx. Do you know what? Jack, over to you. Um, yeah. this, these are your, you have a, a love for this Yes, nation. I do. This is a card, obviously, with Gerald Moreno on it, with Ansu Fati, with Ferran Torres, and with Alvaro Morata. It's a very, very talented front line. But it struggled Wait, for goals. Do, do, you know, do you know what? Just to pick you up on something. I obviously have first-hand experience of Alvaro Morata. Mm -hmm. And I would say that he is one of the most wasteful, profligate strikers I've ever seen play football. I, I know his CV is impeccable. Yeah. But yeah, he struggled towards the tournament. He struggled at Chelsea, sure. But he, you know, I think I've watched him a couple of times this season live for Atletico. And the way that he moves, his ability to stretch defences, I, I think he is a sensational footballer. I agree with you on that. I think he's wasteful. But I think the amount of opportunity he creates with his movement, his mm. ability to get in behind, he has kind of like all around game. And, and at Chelsea, there was a lot of thought of, oh, we've got to get the ball in his head. Yeah. I think that's a major strength of Ahara Morata's. And that's a really strange place to be considering how many scored with but that Morata link up. Morata didn't do enough yeah. for Atletico to make them qualify for the knockouts of the Champions League. No, he didn't. He didn't. But he also didn't, he's also rotated in and out of this Atletico team because Simeone is a, is a funny old manager in this regard. The thing is here, like the best player on this part, I think, is Ansu Fati, right? And yeah. his health and fitness has been a concern. Ferran's had a strange old time back at Barcelona. Squad rotation. I love Gerard Moreno, but he's coming back from a major injury. I'm worried about this Spain side yeah. in terms of getting goals, but I still think they're comfortably through the group. Where are you leaning towards on this team? I would have them as through the groups. Honestly, I think with these four, you put that lucky to be there. But I don't think that's the sum total of the Spanish attack. That's going to be second bottom tier. This is not a good... But group the Spain players. attack as a Spain whole. Spain midfield but, is incredible, but, but this forward line is terrible. But Thog, regardless of the limitations of this side and this attack, and I do think it's fairly limited, by the way. I'm on your page here. Okay. It's better than everybody else along that. No one on here is near Hyung Min Son. Or... I, 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 think, it, I think you'd put it alongside like, Poland. Oh. In terms of the sum of its parts, I think that's... that's Look, I'm going to let you do you are, you are right on some level. Do you know this what? Is, can, I, can I just say how unlucky Spain are? Because with a good forward line, they could be serious do, contenders to win the World do you know? Card. Do you know what's interesting? You did make a good point there. Nobody on this card is as good as either Sadio Mane or Hun Min Son. Therefore, and maybe for that logic, overall, it kind of gets them to the same level as the players on that list. I think the sum of the parts is better. You, and I think you're looking at, you know, out, away from this card, the likes of Nico Williams, who's come in, been brilliant for Athletic Club this season, who, who will step up and has made those differences for yeah. Spain. I think there's enough in the Spanish attack, generally, to put them into the tier above. Rodrigo at Leeds scores the less, odd goal. Less so. Less so. <laughs> <laughs> OK, last up we have... Can anyone work out who it is? Who haven't we discussed? Argentina. Correct. Here we go. Argentina. Let me guess. Di Maria, Dybala, Messi and... Well, no Dybala, because Dybala's injured. He's back. Yes, back but in terms of actually working his way back, it'll be Alvarez and then Lautaro Martinez, yeah, Lautaro. who is in the form of his life. This is also, we don't really need a conversation, surely. This is a top-tier mm. attack. I think, it, I think it's going there, but just to explore it, how good do you think they are? Are they likely winners? Yeah, I think they are. I think Brazil are favourites and then it's Argentina. I think that's how the system looks right now. Um, mm. I'm really hot on this Argentina side. The balance... The whole, the whole thing with it, with it stretching, you get Lautaro or, or Alvarez running in behind. Mm. Messi gets them spaces to play into. On the other side, it's either Di Maria or Nico Gonzalez. They hold the space. Mm. And then you get these like bombs forward from midfield. I think the Argentina side is probably the most, behind Brazil, the most kind of cohesive side at the moment in terms of how they play. I watched them at the Finalisma and I can't agree enough. I'd have to put them in the World Cup winners list. Yes. And yep. it's mainly solely because of this man. He is the pivot and the heart of making midfield to attack, connecting it all. And yeah, it's vital. If That's he wants to win a World Cup, he's got a great opportunity to do so. Every football romantic surely has Argentina as their second team behind their own nation in this World me. Cup. He's up there. Hmm. You might not be a football romantic, <laughs> Interesting. I think we've done a good job here and we will see soon at the Qatar World Cup how we do. And that has been Tear Talk by Sports Direct with me, Rory and Jack. Comment down below, what did we go wrong on? I think we've done all right though. Smash the like button and subscribe. And if you like that, go watch our other video where we ranked all the under 23 World Cup talents on this tier list. It wasn't easy, but go check it out. It's been a pleasure. See you in a bit. Next up, we've got the Swiss rolls. What do you think? That's Serbia. <laughs> 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 yeah, put that, that in at the end, yeah. <laughs>